Well, Martin. Martin. Video camera. Is that what we're just talking about? Yeah. I can talk down there. Yes. Or I can just shout. Doesn't matter to me. This wasn't yours, was it? Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah. We actually don't have any videos for you guys. Yeah, uh, that's all right. So stuff will show up up here. Um, okay, so Spinal Tap. Got any questions? <laughs> uh, uh, just super quick kind of background, uh, because I know everyone asked, it was built off of Flash Gordon. Um, we found a machine that was so beat up that it was, uh, it would work for our purposes, but it would never be able to take, be taken back to a, a working condition. I mean, this thing looked like it had been living in a field uh, behind a farm or something. It was, it was really, really, really beat up. We have pictures of all that, too, we can show you here in a little bit. Uh, I was specifically looking for a machine that was not something that could be taken back to original status because I refused to break things to make new things. Um, so we wanted to find something that was, its life was ended. Um, we had to uh, um, completely break the machine apart. There's basically nothing left on this machine from the original Spinal Tap with the exception of the covers for the pop-up bumpers um, and the wood. Uh, there's nothing left. And, uh, and by nothing, I mean even the wiring harness. We, we com completely custom fabricated our own wiring, har wiring harness for it. Um, all the components are new. Uh, there's obviously none of the original motherboards or anything in it like that. It's all, it's been completely redone. Um, there we, I intentionally left a couple pieces of, of Flash Gordon in it because that it spent 35 years of its life as a Flash Gordon. There's, uh, if, you ever, if you look closely at the table in the upper left corner, there's a Flash Gordon logo. And then if you actually were to take the whole thing apart, the original handwritten serial numbers and stuff are still on the, board, on the, the, the table where they were originally at before. Just kind of didn't feel like breaking things like that. So, um, so we uh, uh, spent, how long did we spend doing the wiring and the basic setup? Probably three years. Yeah, it was insane. Um, for those of you that are familiar with how pinballs works, this one no longer has a switch matrix in it. Uh, this is wired a little bit more like an electromechanical in the sense that everything is grounded and then there's, there's one kind of hot wire that sort of goes to everything and then I've got basically direct leads to every single switch. The reason we did it that way is because of the way that, we, that I wanted to do the programming on it, which is very non-standard. Um, but I knew that I could make that work. And pretty much, incidentally, if you guys are asking questions about anything at all, like why it has a Macintosh sitting in there, why I used a, a development environment called Live Code, why we did a bunch of the stuff we did is because I knew it would work. Um, there's probably a long list of reasons why it would be better to have gone with a Pinrock or, or anybody else or any other solution. And I didn't do it that way because I knew I could make that work. Um, so there's, there's disadvantages probably to the way that we did it, but there's several, several advantages. And most of it is that I have a functioning machine uh, that actually works. It lives in our arcade machine, people, or our, excuse me, our arcade, and we, people play it all the time. Um, and uh, it is constantly under a state of revision and addition. We added a ton of stuff uh, over this last week. And a whole lot of it we actually put in last night as it was here in the, stored in the room back there. So some of the code may still be a little bit iffy, but we, we added a bunch of stuff to it, which we, can't, we do all the time. Because uh, if one of us gets an idea about, well, for example, last night we put a video mode in it, because I really like video modes and you're playing like Attack from Mars and stuff and it goes to video mode. It's like, man, I want that. So we, last night we added a video mode to it, um, which sounds trivial, like I just plugged it in. I mean, that's, you're, that represents like the end result of a week and a half worth of work. But um, uh, uh, anyway, so uh, there it stands right now. Um, so I mean, I, seriously, I, we don't really have much of a presentation. I can actually show you several pictures of the, of the progression of the thing what the machine looked like before we started working with it. Uh, we can pop the thing open so you can look inside it and stuff like that. I don't mind if you guys want to come on up here. You know, I mean, this, I, I want this going to be fairly interactive. Uh, but if you guys have questions or anything, I mean, we're, we're pretty much just open. Yes. Yeah, I've actually seen him in concert, um, uh, which not too many people can, can claim. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I, you know, I graduated high school in 84, which is when the movie came out. Um, uh, a lot of my friends are very musically inclined and they kind of said, you've got to see this, this film. And, and so um, we went for a long, long time just kind of doing that. And then I I'd probably for 20 years have threatened to make a Spinal Tap pinball. Uh, I said, someday I'm going to make a Spinal Tap pinball. And then um, so we started uh, kind of really heavily getting into the whole pinball thing. And I'm like, dude, it, it's just time to do it. 
Yes. There's actually a number of things that go to 11. Um, uh, this, it has, uh, the bonus levels can get as high as 11. There's actually 11 different levels in the machine. There's 11 different, different stages that you can go through. Um, all the volumes across the top go to 11. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of 11 on it. Uh, and well, tons of inside jokes throughout the entire course of this machine. Everything we could throw in there, we've thrown in it. Never have any, any contact with them. Um, uh, it, it's kind of odd because one of the people that we know, oh, it's running one of the video modes or, or the track modes. Uh, one of the people that we know apparently knows Harry Shearer and have never had any, any back contact with him at all or anybody, which is kind of disappointing. Um, it's kind of funny because when people come into the arcade, they either breeze past it, don't even pay attention to it at all, or just like, oh, my God, what am I looking at? Um, that's like 1% of the people, you know, like, what, what am I seeing here? Uh, and then I, the funny ones to me are the ones that are the kind of the casual, like, oh, yeah, it's a Spinal Tap machine. I know about that one. You know, like, no, you don't. You've never seen one before. <laughs> Yes. Um, uh, yeah, there's, um, back up a little bit. The, the system basically runs on a Macintosh when it's all said and done. Um, the reason I chose that is because I'm very familiar with that environment and also it handles AV stuff really well. So uh, we've got tons of both audio and video samples that play throughout the course of the, of the game. And um, uh, it's, we've got stuff on there that's pulled off of YouTube that no one's ever seen before and uh, crazy old ads like this that play, and I mean, it, it's it's full of stuff. The callouts are are as much as we can stuff in it. We continue to stuff in it, and when I find new stuff, we just stick it in there. <laughs> so, uh, so the answer is yes. Yeah, which, so, so with some rules changes and stuff suggested by people that have played it, like in the different pinball things and stuff. Um, is again, the, the nice thing about handling it in this way is if I want to change the rule set, I just change the rule set. I, <laughs> you know, it's, it's entirely custom, so we can do anything we want to do with it. Um, and uh, uh, I guess I'm trying to think of anything else I could say off the top of my head. Um, I'm just going to do that again. Yeah, I would do, if we just added this last night, and so I put it on a randomizer, and it's probably a little too too frequent, so it might that, that might keep showing up. I'm not really sure. I didn't let it sit long enough to see how often it was going to show. But um, anyway, so any other questions? I mean, I got uh, uh, if you guys want to come up here and just have started looking at it, you be my guest. Yes, so once we're done with this, it's going to go into the the I guess so there's a homebrew area. It'll go over there. Uh, I think we've got the the uh, distinction of being set next to the Archer machine, which is another cool machine that I like quite a bit. So, um, of course, they did better work than we did because he actually designed it, the whiteboarded up, right? I mean, it's this is a, a machine that was already something else, so we didn't have to design the angles or the shots or anything. Which, by the way, if I would have played much Flash Gordon before I did this, I wouldn't have built it on a Flash Gordon. It is a tough machine. Uh, <laughs> Oh, he's going to pop it open here. Guys, I would just come on up here and have a look at it straight on if you want to. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Well, there's actually, there's a Macintosh that's running, there's an input board that, that pulls all the, the switches down. But, right, basically converts that to keyboard presses. And then that goes to the Mac, and it goes back out to a set of relay boards that we've got in there that actually activate the lights, the solenoids, et cetera, like that. Correct. Correct. They're converted to keyboard presses. Let's put it that way. Um, there's a, 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 a lot of the guys that do the arcade, uh, like main machines, will understand what an iPack is. The, it goes to an iPack, and then goes in from there. Uh, I'm just going to... We've got some great ideas for some other stuff. I want to do a Tesla machine, um, but this continues just to... Tesla the man, yeah. <laughs> um, and we'll get to that eventually. But right now, we just keep putting energy into this thing. So, I'm just gonna ha I'm just gonna hang this thing up. If you guys want to do stuff, just come on up here and let's just look at it up, up close. All right.